Hello, welcome to the Fighting Fantasy playlist. My name is Adam, and in this episode, episode five, we are looking at the City of Thieves. Now, the City of Thieves was the fifth book released, um, written solely by Ian Livingston. So they were leapfrogging by this point. Steve Jackson had just done Starship Traveler in 1983, and the last book to be released in 1983 was City of Thieves. Again, the cover art was done by Im Craig, which has a very curious person here on the front. Now, that's Zambar Bone. He is basically the um, end boss, you know, of the book. But he does kind of look like somebody else, and I'll let you uh, leave comments below to figure out who that is. Um, Ian McCraig did the cover art, but he also did the inside illustrations, which are absolutely fantastic. And you can see why he was hired by Lucasfilm to go on to do the concept work for the Star Wars films like The Phantom Menace, The Force Awakens. You know, it's absolutely, they're really, really, I mean, there's Zambar Bone in the flesh, as it were. And... He, I don't know if you can see this or not, but all the artwork in this is just absolutely fantastic, you know? So, um, yeah, released in 1983. This was the final release of 1983. So they'd only released five books within, like, two years, you know? Um, I'll read you the Quebec, and then we'll have a quickie inside. It says, terror stalks the night as Zambar Bone and his bloodthirsty moon dogs hold the prosperous town of Silverton to ransom. You are an adventurer and the merchants of Silverton turn to you in their hour of need. Your mission takes you along dark twisting streets where thieves, vagabonds and creatures of the night lie in wait to trap the unwary traveller. And beyond lies the most fearsome adventure of them all, the tower stronghold of the infamous Zambar Bone. Now, this book is a, a great fun read. Not only because, um, you know, you, you, you got to fight this uh, magical being at the end of the book, but it takes place in an infamous town uh, in Titan, which is called Port Black Sand. For those of you who have been there and you know done that, you'll know how scary a place that can be. Now, I'm not going to read you the background of this um, because it's like five pages long. But basically, what happens is again, you are an adventurer of the world, you know, where monsters and magic live, and you're going from village to village, and you come across one place called Silverton. And you go into this old uh, pubby innkeeper -y place and it's kind of like American Werewolf in London where you walk in, everybody looks at you as like, a stranger, you know? And um, somebody comes running up to you and says, listen, there's a guy who's terrorizing us. It's kind of like the Citadel of Chaos in this respect, you know? Will you help us, you know, take this money um, and a sword from us? And it's a really good looking sword, by the way. Um, it's like the best sword you've ever seen in your life. And, uh, I mean, you, you just like touch the blade and your fingers are bleeding, you know? And so you go, yeah, go on then. I mean, you're going to send me off to my death with a sword and 30 gold pieces? Why not? Um, and there are these things called moon dogs, which are kind of like werewolves, you know? But they're not. And, uh, so basically you have to go through Port Black Sand. Now, it tells you that there is only like one way to kill this Zambar bone and you need to collect these items along the way. So you have to spend some time in Port Black Sand. You have to go around and you have to get to know um, the city really in order to find out where you can get these things from. It's a real fun book because once you leave Port Black Sand, you quickly get to this location here on the front cover, which is the uh, place where um, Zambar Bone lives. And then finding him is fairly quick as well. The majority of the book takes place in the City of Thieves, hence the title, Port Black Sand. Um, and it is really fun. Now, he recently did a Port of Peril, which in a future episode we're gonna look at. That's also set in Port Black Sand. And I believe that there is another book that is set in Port Black Sand as well, Midnight Rogue, that's it. Um, 
It's a fun town to go through. And I'll tell you this, I would love to see Port Black Sand. You know, if uh, the Fighting Fantasy ever did a TV series, you know, I'd love, or a film, I'd love to see Port Black Sand, you know, visualized fully. Because, I, I mean, I can imagine just being on the streets of it and all these people are really dirty and rough and just people are being thrown through windows on a daily basis and there's ogres and trolls and orcs going through the streets of the cities and you see the palace in the background. I mean, if you think of the Aladdin film and you think of Agrabah, but uh, like the worst looking version of that, that's how much I, I think I, I see it as. Um, but anyway, that City of Thieves, um, you know, I don't want to ruin it too much by playing through it because the decisions are really like, you know, interesting that you have to make in there. So uh, head, head out and play through it yourself. It's a fun read. Leave your comments and thoughts uh, in the description bit below on your read through and how you did and how you felt fighting Zambar Bone was. I personally got to the end of the book when I've played it. I fought Zambar Bone, but I foolishly died trying, you know. Um, it's, you know, it's just one of them things, really. So, um, you, I mean, you, you come across uh, Nicodemus in the book, another wizard, kind of like Forest of Doom. And, um, you know, he gives you these items, but I'm not going to tell you anymore. It's a fun book. Play it. It's awesome. And I'll see you in the next episode, guys. Take care, adventurers. Bye-bye.